Hi guys, this is Mrs. Kessler, and in this, this video we're going to talk about naming ternary acids. Uh, these are the ones that have three things. You are definitely going to want your periodic table that has your list of the uh, common polyatomic ions because these are the ones that are in those ternary acids. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to start by, uh, we're going to look at a set of ternary acids and then kind of come to some conclusions based on that. Um, and we're going to look at the ones that have chlorine in them. So uh, chlorine by itself would just be Cl. And when chlorine combines with oxygen in a variety of ways, we get a couple of different things. First we get, uh, where do you go, hypochlorite. And hypochlorite, uh, when by itself chlorine has a minus one charge, when you stick an oxygen on it, it still has a minus one charge. So it's ClO with a minus one charge. Then there's uh, chlorite, as opposed to hypochlorite, which is ClO2, which also has a minus one charge. And then there's chlorate, which also has a ClO3, uh, a minus one charge, it's ClO3. And then there's uh, another one on there, ClO4, which is perchlorate. And that one is ClO4. And it also has a minus one charge. So these all have a minus one charge. So when these guys become uh, an acid, so this, this one is not ternary, this one would be uh, binary instead. Um, but when they become acids, we have uh, two things stuck to hydrogen and so we're just going to add hydrogen. Now remember hydrogen is plus one so um, each of these is going to be just stuck to one hydrogen so this will become um, HCl and this one will become HClO and this one will become H, whoops I forgot the H, HClO2 and this one becomes HClO3 and this one becomes HClO4. So these are five different acids here. These are the ternary ones. That's a binary acid because it only has two things in it. Binary two. <coughs> uh, and the way we name these guys, remember we talked about this binary one. We take the hydro and then we add the chlor and then we change the end to ick and then add acid. So there's the chloric right there. Um, the way that we name the binary acids, I'm going to draw a little line here because it's a little bit different. Um, it's going to look like this. Uh, and then you'll see um, some, some pretty, uh, what do you call it, um, some, some common patterns here. So hypochlorite becomes hypochlorous acid. Chlorite becomes chlorous acid. Chlorate becomes chloric acid and perchlorate becomes perchloric acid. So these might be easier than you might be thinking. Um, notice that all we changed was the end and these were all eight and these were eight and the eights become us. Us goes with eight and ick goes with eight. It helps they kind of don't go together with the, the eyes there. Us says eight, ick says eight. Uh, and then your hydroic uh, comes from eyed. This was chlorine and it was eyed. Um, so this is, uh, this is how I kind of remember it. In fact, I had a cheerleader for a chemistry teacher and she was crazy. Um, she was nice. I liked her, Miss Schlather. She did this cheer and it said, um, us says eight, ick says eight. Hydroic eyed, hydroic eyed, and the eyed came from the chlorine, but we don't we don't need to necessarily do that. But um, so this is pretty easy, right? Okay, so when you have your ternary acids, which are these um, guys here, if it ends in ick, um, then you change the end to eight and add acid. If it ends in eight, you change the end to us and add acid. Um, and if it ends in eyed, you would add hydro and then ick and then acid. So we could do the cyanide, that's the eyed one. So that would become hydrocyanic acid. Um, hydroxide is water, that one it becomes water. Anyway, uh, hypochlorite, we just named chlorite, chlorite, chlorite. Nitrite, it says us, so that would become nitrous acid. Nitrate would become nitric acid. Uh, permanganate would become permanganic acid because the eight says ick. Um, and so that's just a pattern. This is actually uh, not terrible. Um, the hard part is going back and forth uh, with the charges. Remember, if you have the name, if you sulfate and sulfite, 
Um, those are our two uh, sulfur and oxygen combos here. Um, it would be us, right? It becomes us. So this would be sulfus acid. And sulfus acid would be H2SO3 because it has a minus 2 charge. So uh, if it helps, you could write these would become H and the thing, and this would become H2 and the thing, and these would be H3 and the thing. So if you ever see phos, that's a 3. If you ever see phosphic acid, H says ick, phosphic acid would be H3PO4. So we're looking at the different, um, the different charges there to be able to write the formula. So um, that's it, though, for naming ternary acids. Uh, if you have any questions, questions, uh, make sure you ask your teacher. Thanks for watching.